Here's the challenge before people start doing this. Um, you have to actually caliper from the, the crook to here. It kind of depends on the shape of the palm. So the hand is a marvelous organ and one of the most complex and sensitive areas of the body with multiple muscle groups, multiple types of joints, and three different nerves innervating it. So it's no surprise that research is being conducted to connect the complex physiognomy of the hand with the deepest mysteries of human cognition. The father of neuroscience, Santiago Ramon Icahal, discovered the nerve potential and the intricate tree-like structures of the different types of nerves in the brain, which led to the discovery of the brain's complexity. Since then, scientists have been attempting to unfold the mysteries of one of the body's largest organs, who are functioning, connections, and strange effects continue to astound them. As a result, it's not surprising to see neuroscientists. After years of development, neuroplasticity theory is still looking for a coherent theory of how the body alters the mind. Neuroplasticity is the brain's ability to form and rewire synaptic connections and form more complex connections, which is especially useful after an injury. And, because the functioning of the hand is so closely monitored and controlled by the brain, and because the functioning of the hand is so intricate and fine, it's no surprise that the opposite effect could be true. The human hand, in its varied shapes all have various measurements and indices, which Dr. Huberman says can determine the cognitive functions of the human mind. Natural androgens produced in the body can affect a child's growing brain and these hand indices, which can have startlingly uniform effects on the human mind that can be observed in populations. Of course, there are a variety of reasons why this could be the case. However, scientists such as Sheng Togo, in a study published in the journal Nature, have discovered that the ratio of the ring and index fingers, the 2D40 ratio, and the functioning of the two can differ between autistic and non-autistic people. Individual differences in anatomy can have significant and interesting effects on brain morphology and function. I had a project uh, related to how androgens impact prenatal development and how it impacts digit ratios in humans. This is a study that was published in Nature in the year 2000 um, and has been now replicated no fewer than five times looking at how the ratio of the index finger to the ring finger on the right hand um, it's a testosterone exposure during prenatal development tends to make this finger slightly shorter than this finger in females. Dr. Andrew Huberman, who has spent decades researching gender differences in neuroplasticity in the brain, explains that the structure of the human hand may have an effect on how the brain functions. He hypothesized that the in utero effects of maternal hormones, which are natural androgens, could cause changes in the fetus's developing brain. This, in turn, causes changes in development and, as a result, measurable indices of finger development. Individuals who have been exposed to higher levels of androgens may have longer ring fingers than index fingers. Scientists Dr. Margaret Gatz and Dr. Christian Pike discovered that changes in these hand indices can have an effect on people's long-term cognition. They conducted a study with a large focus group of 80 Alzheimer's sufferers for this purpose. What did they discover? Women with greater 2D40 ratios, which is the feminine pattern of hand development, were found to be more vulnerable to Alzheimer's disease later in life. Prenatal exposure to higher doses of androgens in utero, which resulted in the male pattern of hand development and thus lower 2D40 ratios, tended to preserve cognition in older women for longer. These effects were examined by measuring hand indices and then correlating this data with data from the assessment of cognitive functioning, which included three web-based cognitive tests, number series, picture, vocabulary, and verbal analogies. Not only does the human brain regulate the physical functioning of the body, but it also controls people's mental functioning, emotions and behaviors. It has been discovered that people with varied hand lengths may have distinct dispositions in general. As a result, embodiment is a key factor in the expression of emotions. Hand position and the extensive audiovisual processing necessary in normal emotional functioning could also be factors in the variety of observations. People with longer ring fingers than index fingers tend to think more logically, making them outstanding problem solvers, and these people tend to gravitate toward jobs that demand these skills, such as science or engineering. People who have longer index fingers than ring fingers tend to be more lonely and goal-oriented. 
It can also imply introvertedness in some circumstances, though this is debatable. People with an equal measurement of the ring and index fingers are likely to be diplomatic and skilled at conflict resolution. However, keep in mind that having a quiet facial expression does not imply that they do not have intense personalities. A study published in the journal Trends in Neuroscience Education by Karen H. James discovered that early learning of handwriting and early development of the so-called reading circuit in the brain can alter letter understanding and perception and increase reading skills at a younger age. This can also occur as a result of the early development of specialized processing and understanding between the two hemispheres of the brain, which can be accelerated by learning to write at a young age. As a result, repetitive use of the practice of regular motor functioning in general, but specifically of the hand, may create changes in the human brain that can be detected in neuroimaging investigations using MRIs. The human brain is interconnected to the human body. From the developing brain in the womb to kid growth and lifestyle. Many things can have an impact on the human brain. But there are telltale indications on our bodies, and our hands reveal a surprising amount about how we think, feel, and live our lives. If you liked the video, please subscribe to us for more instructive and motivating content and ring the bell so you don't miss a video in the future.